AutoCAD architecture has a variety of predefined schedule tables that may be used in conjunction with Roombook style properties. The Roombook palette has two sets, International and VOB Germany. In order to properly populate these schedules, you must first use the Calculate Room Quantities tool. From the Tool Palette's Design Group Roombook palette, I'll select the All Room Quantities schedule from the International section of the palette. At the Select Objects or Enter to Schedule External Drawing prompt, I'll enter All, then press Enter. At the upper left corner of Table prompt, I'll pick below the left wall in the drawing. At the lower right corner or Enter prompt, I'll press Enter to accept the default heights set in this schedule's style. The schedule is completely empty except for the title and column names. I'll click the schedule and on the Schedule Table tab, General Panel, I'll select the Edit Style tool, which opens the Schedule Table Style Properties dialog box. On the Applies To tab, select the object types to be tracked for schedule tables using this style. You can select any objects on the list. The area above the list displays the objects that are currently selected. This schedule table is currently only scheduling multi-view blocks. The right pane lists all classification definitions that apply to any of the selected object types. You can select multiple classifications in multiple classification definitions. If classifications are selected, schedule tables of this style include objects selected on the left only if they have been classified with the selected classifications. Classifications is currently only using the All Room Quantities classification from the Room Book classification definition. The only multi-view blocks current in the drawing are the furniture items. I'll select a conference room table and then from the multi-view block tab general panel I'll select the edit style tool which opens the multi-view block definition properties dialog box. On the classifications tab the Room Book classification is unspecified. Therefore, these objects are ignored by the schedule style. I'll click Cancel to close this dialog box. From the Room Book palette, I'll select the Calculate Room Quantities tool, which opens the Calculate Room Quantities dialog box. In the Generate Drawing Data section, I'll check Generate Finish IDs per material schedule, then check all the remaining unchecked items in this section. Accepting the remaining defaults, at the bottom, I'll click the Calculate Command button, then click OK. Roombook IDs are added to the drawing, and the All Room Quantities Schedule table updates to include these new property set definitions that the Schedule Table style is designed to use. Women's Restroom 102 currently has a door threshold and floor surface standard material finish. Wall surfaces currently have a white painted gypsum board material finish. From the Room Book palette, I'll pick the Bathroom Surface Material style and pick the Women's Bathroom 102 space object, then press Enter to end the command. From the Room Book palette, I'll select the Calculate Room Quantities tool, which opens the Calculate Room Quantities dialog box. I'll click the Calculate Command button, then click OK. The schedule table has updated to reflect these changes. To adjust the materials for this style, I'll select the Edit Surface Materials tool in the Room Book palette, which opens the Room Book Surface Material Style dialog box. From the Name drop-down list at the top, I'll pick the Bathroom Style. In the Style Properties section, under Wall Surfaces, I'll click the Ellipsis button at the right end of Materials, which opens the Materials Assignment dialog box. I'll remove the white marble material from the selected materials on the right, then add the white painted gypsum wallboard from the All Materials from Drawing column, then click OK. The wall surfaces do not immediately update in the schedule. From the Room Book palette, I'll select the Calculate Room Quantities tool, which opens the Calculate Room Quantities dialog box. I'll click the Calculate Command button, then click OK. The schedule table has updated to reflect these changes.